Hi. Right. Uh, hope you're well. I'm struggling for my words today. It's not the flat earth is not important, it is. It's not that other stuff is not connected, it is. I was trying to find something to say. I was looking for a book, for a quote or something to help me. I found this one. A big fat thing. What's today's date? June 8th. I'm just going to read it. After a stint in the Spanish Civil War and a wartime job writing propaganda for the British government, George Orwell, born Eric Blair, found himself in a world that was even more disturbing than that which he had posited in his 1944 masterpiece, Animal Farm. Far from reigning in Stalin, the post-World War II carve-up of Europe had given the communist dictator even more power, which deeply alarmed the democratic socialist Orwell. Disturbed by the fact that even in a democratic country such as Britain, the government could enact restrictions and censorship with little public comment. And so Orwell wrote 1984. The novel tells of Winston Smith, a man in a world of three superpowers, Oceania, Eurasia and East Asia, where war is a constant. Political structures are run by the Ministry of Truth, the Ministry of Peace, the Ministry of Love and the Ministry of Plenty, all overseen in Oceania by Big Brother, the leader of the party. The state controls all individuals. Televisions are used as a means of communication and control, and anti-government uh, intent is stamped out as thought crime. Orwell critiqued his own history as a propagandist. Posters promote doublethink, where two contradictory statements are held at the same time and held as true. War is peace, freedom is slavery, ignorance is strength an incisive stab at totalitarianism. 1984 was a bestseller from the time of publication and remains a favourite on university reading lists. While it was influential in promoting anti-Stalinist feeling in the Britain of the 1950s, even among leftists, Orwell's lasting influences may not have been to his liking. In the 21st century, Big Brother is more famous as a reality TV franchise and political spin doctors appear to be using his appendix, The Principles of Newspeak, as a guide for press releases. <clears throat> so just briefly, other historical events. 1783, a volcano in Iceland begins an eight month eruption. 1866, the Canadian Parliament meets for the first time. 1942, two Japanese Imperial submarines shell Sydney and Newcastle, Australia. 1949, 1984 by George Orwell is published. Celebrities in 1949 including Helen Keller, Dorothy Parker, Donny, Danny Kaye, Frederick March, John Garfield, Paul Muni and Edward G. Robinson are named in an FBI report as Communist Party members. 1953, the US Supreme Court rules that Washington DC restaurants may not refuse to serve black patrons. 1968, James Earl Ray is arrested for the murder of Dr. Martin Luther King. And in 1984, the Australian state of New South Wales decriminalizes homosexuality after six years of public protest. All these things happened on June the 8th of that year. The truth is out there, right in front of people's faces. 
it's our job to try and get them to see it. I'm just going to read one more thing. This is my piece. If you type flat, meaning, into the search bar, you will find definitions such as horizontal and level, which I shall return to, adjectives relating to water such as calm, still, pacific, undisturbed, among others such as shallow, low, and low-heeled. You will also find, and take note, adjectives such as monotonous, toneless, boring, dull, tedious, uninteresting, unexciting, soporific, depressed, dejected, dispirited, despondent, downhearted, discouraged, low-spirited, down, gloomy, glum, unhappy, blue, marble, desolate, and yet more, slow, inactive, dead, burst, recumbent, many more related to money, housing, and they all, the nouns, verb usage, adverbs, leave me feeling deflated. Even the thought of living in an apartment flat leaves me supine in despair. On this page I could find no mention of plain. So type in plain. You will find flat, level, horizontal, even flush, true, smooth, regular, uniform, planar. Nouns such as stage, degree, standard, stratum, position, rung, echelon, footing, and only a couple of verbs such as soar, glide, float, drift, and wheel, skim, and glide. And of course, aeroplane. The plane is also a tool used for something. Smoothing down surfaces it is also a tree. And then we return to level. Many words have already been found under flat and plane. But we also have under level, balanced, abreast, equal, drawn, tied, unchanging, steady, unvarying, stable, regular, consistent, constant, invariable, unaltering and unaltered, unemotional, composed, serene, tranquil. And then there are verbs such as flatten, raise, demolish, topple, destroy, bulldoze, wreck, pulverize, even aim, point, direct, sight, focus, beam, and turn. The mixture of words here, for me, do not describe the earth as I would like. And this is hard, because I consider myself a flat earther. I title all my videos Flat Earth. I believe we live on a plane of some sort. I know water always finds a flat level. But these words do not give the place we live validation. It is one thing to be pedantic, another to be obstreperous. But we definitely need another name for this place we live, if not the quest we are upon. Many have already been proposed, many more I hope will follow. I have a few of my own, some with purpose, some as a whim such as hearth, but all we really have is the words given to us. I have said already, our vocabulary is incomplete. I enjoy my part in the Flat Earth community, am constantly anxious with excitement at my seeming purpose in this Flat Earth moment, feel a surge of adrenaline as the Flat Earth movement continues to gain momentum. I even enjoy my outsider stance. It is how I have lived my life. The lone wolf, the nomad, the scout. I have much to share if people will help me to acclimatize to civilization again. Or perhaps you would like to come join me. I live on the near infinite hearth. I call her Neith. I am Neitha.
as usual, my brain goes dead and I forget what I want to say. I don't want to talk about people or what people think of the ideas. I just want to hear the ideas and I will make up my own mind what I think of the people. So please, share your ideas. Share your thoughts. Keep sharing your opinions of other people, but I shan't listen to them. I will make my own mind up about these things. And two final points. Yeah, there are lines in the sky today, and there wasn't yesterday. And something else I noticed about them as well. Some, some others, I think, have. But they move at a different speed to the clouds. And that says something, doesn't it? But my last point. And some of you would have seen it already. Some of you would have heard it. Someone's playing a fiddle somewhere, and we are all dancing to the tune. Yesterday I enjoyed it, today I am not. Peace and luck to you all, and I thank you for listening.